Kira! You want to rid the world of us? I'll rid it of you! Flon, stay close to me. Eivor, what do we do? Fight! These are my men! It's them on you! Now fight! Back! Get back! They will not let me. Kira's taken their reach somehow. Defend yourself! I cannot let you off this path! You stand in my way? I thought you were all too understand! I do! This is too far! Listen to her, Kira! There could be peace between us! Just another lie! Enough, Kira. Surrender now. Nothing but a ruthless traitor. Hollow inside. You speak of honor. Where is yours? You know. With Farid, his son, another pawn in this endless war. He is my blood. Ah, yes. And you will throw away all reason to defend what you are sworn to. I am no different. My people will live to see tomorrow, if it means I have to kill you today.
wanting! Battle hardened over many victories. Do not make me add another. Do as you must. As will I. I would never see the Druids into darkness. Why pretend to be my ally? I pretended nothing. I thought. I hoped you could be better. Better than Owen. Don't compare me to that demon! No. Look around you. You set in motion what the Children of Dawnu hoped you could. You became the vessel for their plot. Always have been. After Mother died, I became the last. The last who could awaken the Leofal. Never did I think I would use this gift so foolishly. What now? It ends. Owen, the children of Danu, they only exist in pursuit of the stone's power, and I am the key to unleashing it. You must kill me. Kill me, Eivor. If I die, Tara's power dies with me, and there will be nothing left to lead my people astray. The old ways will return. Let me do this. Let me save them. Please. You may be the key to this power, but the stone is the source. Destroy it. You know I cannot. Your ancestors are souls in another realm. They will not despair of this stone's loss. Sometimes we must sacrifice what we treasure most to protect the ones we love. Bury the past. Build the future. Kira, I bow my head in contrition. I fail you. I failed you and the true druids of Ireland. For that, I truly apologize. I will speak to the kings and undo my rash decision. The land you have wished for is secure. I hope it is so, Flom. Farewell. Farewell, Eivor. Where will you go?
How are you feeling? Bruised. Battered. But I'll live. Though it'll take some time to reclaim my pride. It took a lot not to kill you. If you wanted to, that was your chance. <laughs> I suppose at the end of all this, it's safe to call you a friend. See to it that Sigfrith's reign is long, and you shall never know me as your enemy. Have you met with the other kings? I take it that is why you have come. I have. The Inquisition is buried. High King is a leader to all who share in his land. You helped me see that. My only regret is not having understood it sooner. You work to secure a future for all. Kiro would be pleased with this outcome. I know there is much that awaits you in England, Eivor. But you can set your boots in Ireland any time you please. Farewell, Flan. Until we meet again. What do you think my father would make of all this? Barith wanted to ensure the Dublin he left you could stand upright on its own two legs. And while he could not see it through, he would be proud you did. I will never forget what you did for my family. Our family, Sigfrith. Keep well, and may your father's Hooger be with you always. It shall with